All right guys, if you want the chance to win one of these overmolded AK-47s, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, comment down below, make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll give this away in next week's episode. All right guys, welcome back to another episode of Building Vietnam in Lego. So, let's just jump right into it. So, I ordered some parts for this building in last week's episode. I ordered two orders. One was for some larger bricks, and one was a bigger order that was basically like everything else that I needed. And I only got one out of two of the orders, which really annoyed me because this is this is the uh, larger bricks that go on the back side that we won't really see. I don't have the other orders, so I can't really do anything, which I'm really bummed out about because I really wanted to finish that building up as much as I could. And I actually also ordered parts to finish up this little sand green roof. So I was really excited about that. Obviously, I can't do anything about it. It's probably because of Black Friday and Cyber Monday was all that week, like that first part of this week that I ordered that. So that probably didn't help. So I'm hoping I'll get it next week probably monday or tuesday but it is what it is but i've got some really exciting stuff we're going to talk about minifigures here in a second but i have a fan mail here and he actually sent this all the way from the netherlands and he's asking he's basically saying he's that i've inspired him to do some builds i'm not going to read the whole note here but uh he says if you could give me a shout out on one of your videos that'd be awesome so shout out to I don't know how to pronounce that properly and I don't want to butcher it. Let's see if it'll focus there. I think it's Ja Ogle. Um, and he's putting hashtag Brick Tactical and he even put, he must have made an order because he put a Brick Tactical sticker. So I thought that was really cool. So thank you for the fan mail. I really appreciate it everyone. And um, let's just jump into it. So this is why I love this TV because I can show you guys this stuff. But basically, we've got some Vietnam minifigures designed and I'm going to do some test printing here. Not in this episode, but probably next episode. So I've got Vietnam, like Viet Cong minifigures, and then I got a generic U.S. Marine. So let's start with the Viet Cong soldier. So I, I first of all, I don't know if I want to do light flesh or classic yellow for the uh, skin tone of both the Marines and the Viet Cong soldiers. I honestly like the classic yellow a lot, but looking at this, flesh does look pretty good. I don't know, we might have to test print and do a vote. We'll probably do that in next week's episode because I just got these designs back and I'm doing a couple more changes and um, these aren't the exact final designs. I'm thinking, so this belt, or like light, gr not light gray, dark blue gray is going to be right there on the back. And then the Marine, I'm also going to have side torso printing of the belt continuing around the torso. And then I'm not a fan of these boots quite yet. So those are kind of a work in progress. But basically, this is a rough draft. And it's good enough to show you guys and get your guys' feedback. So like I said, we'll have a Viet Cong soldier. So this is kind of a generic one with the scarf. And the scarf is inspired by Mr. Brick sending out these cool scarfs there. So thank you. And basically, I have a couple designs of different color scarves. I don't know if I'm going to do them. But I don't know. This is my question for you guys. So do should I do like a couple different variants? Like do a general infantry of both um, classes and then do maybe like a heavy like grenader a bolt and like a machine gun or a bolt and a rifleman should I do like that many I mean that just makes a lot more options for you guys and it'll be much better than having like a hundred of the same exact figure running around the mock I think it would add a little bit more variety do some different head designs let me know in the comments I think that would be kind of cool but let's go into this design a little bit so we got a chin strap there for the kind of the rice patty hats and then we've got a cool red scarf this is kind of like an AK pouch He's got a canteen on the back, some larger pouches. The scarf continues on the back there. I really like how simple it is. I don't think I'm going to do leg designs on this guy. I don't think he needs it. I think it looks great how it is. Let me know in the comments. The Marine. So, he's pretty awesome. He's got dog tags. He's got larger pouches here. Got the classic buckle. He's got dirty boots. Like I said, the boots aren't perfect yet. I'm not a fan of them just yet, but they're getting there. I got the cool stubble face. We've got the bandolier kind of going on here with the canteen and the larger pouches in the back. I really like that. And my other question for you guys is, I have pictures, I can't pull them up now, but the, actually, let me go ahead and pull up. I have a picture of what this would look like in olive green, and this is in sand green. So I wanna show you guys that, so let me go ahead and pull that up. Okay, so this is in the final design, but like I said, this is in sand green, as you can see, and this is in olive green. So I'm curious, if I stand back here, what do you guys think looks the best? I personally, it's so hard to tell. I think the olive green looks pretty cool, but the sand green does look really nice. So 
I don't know. So let me know. Let's actually take a poll right here. And this is something that I'll have to do a um, test print on and actually show you guys a physical figure. But let's do a poll up there. The question is for the U.S. Marines, olive green or sand green? And I'm curious to see what you guys say. This is the rough stages, so this isn't a final vote. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say, why don't you print both? And I might be able to. It's just going to depend on how cheap some of these parts are on BrickLink, if they're expensive or not, and um, what you guys think. So I'm curious. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's really all I have for this episode. I know it's not a lot, but I'm really excited to show you these because normally I don't show minifigures until like the last couple episodes of the mock, like the series in general. So I think it's cool that I'm showing these now and we can kind of every now and then check in on how the minifigures are doing, but this is my goal for next week and this should be obtainable is get that order for these parts, get that building on its way, and then basically this order of parts should finish this building and basically all these tiles, this building, all of this back like section here on this side of the road should be done. So that should be done. We can move on to the front and um, that'll be good. And then like I said, I'm going to take these designs. There's a couple more changes I'm waiting on. Get those designs, print them on minifigure parts. So like if I go in here, I've got this huge bag of black torsos here. It's really overexposed in here. But basically, it's these torsos here. It's some alien torso. I don't know what it is. But basically, I'm going to be taking these torsos. I'm going to be removing the current Lego printing. And I also have the Viet Cong hats. I've got some of them. I'm slowly buying some. But like I said, I'll be taking these torsos, removing the printing. These will be for the Vietnam minifigures. And um, I'm also going to get some sand green parts for testing and then olive green. So lots of things to come. I should have some cool minifigures to show you guys in next week's episode. Let's go ahead and cut to the giveaway winners and we'll come back and wrap things up. All right, guys, let's pick the winner from episode 38 here. One, two, and three. Boom, Mr. Brick, the window placement of Toss is incredible. Mr. Brick, I literally just shipped you an order, so I'm going to have to ship you something. Shoot me a message. I think it was for some M16s and whatnot. I'll have to check back in last video, but Mr. Brick, you are the winner. You know the deal. Email me, website, uh, screenshot, all that good stuff. That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Brick. All right, guys, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, I know this wasn't a detailed pack video, but like I said, these minifigures took a while to get to this point, so I hope you guys enjoy those. Make sure you take that poll, letting me know which one you like better, the sand green or the olive green. And in next week's video, we should have some physical copies of these minifigures to actually hold and show you guys and we can talk about. So I'm really excited. And let me know, do you want me to, once these minifigures are done, do you want me to start selling them right away? Or do you want me to wait till the finale video is up? So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching. Check out last week's episode right here. Check out on all the, like, the full playlist of all the videos right there. And then subscribe by clicking right there. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay out of trouble, and I'll see you next time.